So we're at the airport again. And where are we going? Montserrat, going through Antigua. So Montserrat is a tiny little volcanic island in the Caribbean. We're taking a tiny, I don't know, eight passenger plane maybe from Antigua to Montserrat, like a 20 minute flight, because the uh, landing strip on Montserrat is a plateau basically. So a cliff where you land and a cliff where the, the landing strip ends. So that should be fun. And it's gonna be unique in a few ways. We got a pretty cool email yesterday, right? Really? What did it say? Well, the car company where we were renting our car, I wrote and asked, uh, so where do I meet you for the uh, at the airport? He says, well, I'm off the island. So I left the car in the parking. This is the description and the license plate. And the keys are in the glove compartment. Uh, what? <laughs> so, I guess there's not a lot of... Uh, I think we'll feel a little safe robberies. on this island. Yeah. hope so. Yeah, so we're leaving pouring rain in mid February in Canada, which Canada. Canada. And hopefully going to pure sunshine. We'll keep you updated. Shannon's 
So maybe we should tell the viewers why we are in Montserrat at this moment right now. Well, you have an uncle that lives here, so... Yeah, yeah. So it's not an island that's very known. I mean, first of all, getting here is kind of complicated, as you saw. The little plane we took, complicated. It was yeah. exciting, it was exciting. Uh, but yeah, we, I have an uncle that lives here. He's lived here since 94, winters here and summers back in Canada. And he invited us to come and uh, check out the island. I was here ten, when I was 10 years old. So honestly, not yeah. too many memories. I don't remember much. Unfortunately. But uh, we're happy to be here. And yesterday he gave us a fruit called a soursop, which is growing on our uh, yard, in our yard here. This morning we get to try this fruit, which is kind of ugly looking on the outside, but uh, it grows here on the land of the home where we have rented the house. And apparently once you peel it and try it, it's quite delicious. So we're going to try it. And uh, while it's green in the tree, it was brown when he gave it to us. And when you take the peel off, it looks like this. Kind of squishy, yummy white stuff that we are going to try right now. So is it ladies first? Or? Yeah, more well, definitely. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Mm. I'm gonna start with the smaller piece. It's not very young. Uh, oh, huh? Smaller than that. Oh, come on, be a big boy. Hey! I'm uh, being a big boy. Doesn't taste like much. No, it's not mine. So it's a, like a, a pear kind of taste with a funny type of a no. texture. <laughs> it's good. No. Well, I mean, it's not our favorite, no. but it's, it's good. And they gave us this cute, cute, tiny pineapple. Maybe this big. About the size we saw in the Azores. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, my taste. Mm. That's better. They're not as sweet as like the Costa Rican pineapples. Maybe it wasn't ready. Awesome. But very good. So that's our story. We don't have much planned on this island. I just saw that there's a 50 to-do list on the table, so I'm gonna go take a look at that and uh, 